what's going on YouTube gamers I am Blitz and today's vlog episode is about the cancellation of Skillbound now I'm kind of ticked off that was supposed to be a Microsoft Xbox One exclusive and I was looking forward to getting that game and playing it on the Xbox One I mean PS4 has pretty much some decent exclusives on their own I mean, let's face it, PS4, I think, is killing it with the exclusives game. Microsoft could step it up. Better yet, they can quit canceling their games. Because right now, all they have... Sorry. All they have lined up for us right now are Sea of Thieves, which, to me, that game is just... it. That didn't even... It's too cartoonish. It's not something I would actually play. Now, I know video games is art and it's supposed to be cartoonish but with the graphics and everything how it, it's supposed to be like you know how the graphics are we're getting up into 4k and stuff is supposed to look realistic unless you play minecraft and then you got that dumbed down pixel video games kind of like that um can't really say that about um sonic because sega is coming out with sonic oh my god i just saw it mania and they're going back to the actual 2D art, which is pretty nice for Sonic, because for me, that's the feels that hit that hits home right here. But anyways, um, yeah, so they, uh, Microsoft, all they have left is Sea of Thieves, Crackdown 3, which I've never even seen, and I don't even know what it is. I would probably have to go back to previous Crackdown games and see what they are. Uh, Halo Wars 2, which does not interest me at all, because it is just practically a strategy war game. It's not a first-person shooter, it's just more strategizing, controlling the map, controlling the area. Not my type of game that I even want to play. Then there's Below, which I've never heard of, and then there's State of Decay 2, which is okay. I never tried the State of Decay, um, the first one, or have I? I'm not sure about that one, uh, but I do know what State of Decay is. The rest of the games, I either don't know or it doesn't interest me at all, and so... What did interest me was Skillbound, and I am highly disappointed that they canceled it. It, The graphics when they showed it at E3 was amazing. I like the fact that the dude was like, listen to head, uh, listen to music with his headphones in and battling a damn dragon. I, I thought that was amazing, and I was looking really forward to it, and they just really disappointed me. I mean, Microsoft, what's the deal? Why? I mean, I do run both systems. I got both systems, so, I mean, I can see the point of, like, each system having their own exclusives. I mean, I will say that I have Destiny for both systems, but I don't see the point in going and getting games that are uh, that you can buy for either system. Nah. Destiny was a gift, so both systems gift, yeah. But no, just highly disappointed. Um, kind of hoping that maybe they have some better games that they're going to be announcing at this year's E3 that are exclusive for Microsoft. But if not, come on. You're letting Sony whip your butt. Microsoft, step it up. The VR for uh, the gaming does not interest me at all. I mean, I wear these glasses, so putting something over that and just being up in my face, not really my thing. I, honestly, I'd probably have to get contacts, and I've never worn contacts a day in my life. I should probably look into that, but no, it, it's just not who I am. Like, I, I'm not that type of person. I don't, I don't even wear makeup, and if I do, it's like a special occasion, occasion and no, I don't know. I'm just... I'm triggered that they actually went and canceled a good RPG that probably would have made them money. Uh, a game that I was looking forward to for them last year was ReCore. They uh, did release ReCore that was not canceled. I just haven't picked it up because uh, the reviews and how everyone was talking about it, it apparently it sucked. So maybe later on I might go out and get ReCore and actually try it, but... No, I was just looking forward to Scalebound. And it's highly disappointing. You have developers that put so much time and effort into bringing forth a video game and then 
the top dogs say, Urk. nope, and cut it out. It, it just, <sighs> yeah. Anyways, guys, that's all I have to say for that. I am, I don't know how many more times I can say I'm disappointed. But I uh, know. Tell me your thoughts in the comments, what you think. If you even saw it, or if not, go check out the trailers that they had for it. Because it was a decent looking trailer. At least in my mind, I thought it was. So, anyways, guys, that's it for now. Leave a like, sub if you haven't, share the video around. Appreciate it. Uh, check out all the links in, uh, all the links in the description. Uh, tell me your comments, what you feel, your thoughts. I would love to get a conversation going, a discussion about this. And I'll talk to you guys later. Happy gaming.